YouTube, Zookeeper, and the DIY Backyard Weather Station. Here are what I believe will be um, my final configuration for the web interface. As you can see, um, I'm measuring the time, particulates, or air quality, which is kind of bad today. We've got some wind. Temperature, uh, dew points of calculation. I'm, I'm going to monitor that compared to the weather service and adjust my uh, factors to uh, ensure that it's as accurate as I can make it. Relative humidity, pressure, solar intensity, and inches of rain. Um, what we'll see that is conspicuously missing is wind speed and direction. They both work flawlessly. They completely accurately record wind speed and direction. The issue is they're not reliable. Okay, hopefully you can see this. This is why the anemometer and wind vane are not part of the code. It's slightly windy today and this thing's blowing all over the place but the wind is not. It's coming from a pretty steady direction and see it that's that no that doesn't happen. I just have too much turbulence. I made some changes to the rain gauge trying to use the easy button feature um, because it does all of the um, debouncing and everything in the background. Here we have the easy button assigned to pin 4. The debounce time set to 150 milliseconds. And then, I think I did this wrong. Um, it said you had to put the button, start button loop. It doesn't seem to be working. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, again, I'm not a software person. So what I tried to do is uh, some code I found on the internet basically just says, it's an if statement, right? It says if button press tip count plus plus and maybe that I need to put the daily rain plus bucket amount below that, I'm not sure. Um, in any event, um, using the uh, easy button feature is not currently working. So again, we can see that the inches today is zero. My dew point right now is 52 based on the old calculation that I was using. Um, we'll see if that is more accurate um, with the new calculation. My backyard weather station box. It's a bird feeder. This is my solar sensor. It uh, records pretty accurately. I've got all the parts. Um, in here, so there's good airflow. And the sensors seem to read pretty accurately. It is a little bit warmer in here than um, I'd like, so I will probably put a longer. This is just a nylon screen. Don't use metal screen. This is nylon screen. Um, I'll probably drop this a little bit lower um, to get even better airflow down here. But uh, that's the setup that I'm using right now. YouTube, that's it for this video. If what I've shared today has value, makes your life easier, gives you some good ideas, please do consider offering a like, share, and a subscribe. Leave a comment in the comments section if you have one. I read them all and respond to as many as I can. Thank you. Have a great day.